I'm Sarah from the Newton Public Library and I'm here with another edition of the Do-It-Yourself Storytime Bag, this time for February. So, in our Storytime Bag for this month, we have a very special book called Extra Yarn. This is one of our favorites. It's a story about a little girl who finds a mysterious box that's full of yarn and it's a bottomless box of yarn, so she just starts knitting sweaters for her entire community and it's it's just a wonderful story wonderful pictures perfect for february because we start in sort of gray and unhappy scenery and then it brightens up as it continues so this is one your littles will enjoy and your older kids will enjoy as well so i'm excited to share that with you so along with the book we have as usual a number of activities to go along with it um so in your bag, you will find your list of activities. You can kind of pick and choose. It's a bit of hodgepodge and it all relates back to yarn and knitting. So the opening song is called Cozy Sweater and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. And I tried singing this alone in my office, trying to find the tune and it's tricky, but I'm gonna try it now. It goes on my cozy sweater, on goes my cozy sweater over my head. One arm is yellow, the other is red. When the weather's cold and I want to play, I put it on and outside I stay. And it's good to repeat that a few times so that your children can start learning the new lyrics along with the familiar tune. So in addition then to the book and the opening song, we have a counting rhyme, uh, five balls of yarn. So in your bag, you're gonna find a little baggie that looks like this. And I decided rather than go with magnetics this time, just to use these pom-poms because we can use these for an activity later. So get a bowl. You've got your balls of yarn. There should be five. And it's, um, it's counting practice. So five balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? And then you have your child count Count what's left and then you continue until you count down to zero. And if you've got littles, it's, you know, worthwhile to maybe talk first about what colors are the yarn balls and then they can play with them when you're done. After that, we have a, um, another counting rhyme about sheep. And you can make the connection, of course, for the uh, non-farm kids that wool comes from sheep and it comes from farmers shearing the sheep. So this one is five white and fluffy sheep. And you can sing it or just say it. It goes to the tune of five little speckled frogs. But five white and fluffy sheep in the pasture fast asleep. Their wool keeps them cozy all night long. The farmer slipped away with one and sheared the wool until he was done. Then there were four white fluffy sheep and it continues on. After that, it's always good to have an action song where your kids can get up and move around a little bit. Um, so the next song is If Your Clothes Have Any Red to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So if your clothes have any red, any red, if your clothes have any red, any red, if your clothes have any red, then put a finger on your head. If your clothes have any red, any red, and then it goes on with blue, yellow, green, whatever color you want to use. All right. And then on the back, um, I have one more action song called These Are My Glasses, and I've included a QR code and a link so that you can watch Lori Berkner do the song. Um, and she's a really wonderful children's music artist. If you haven't come across her already, I highly recommend her. And it's a fun little video to watch, um, but it goes this way. So you have your child figure out how to make little glasses. And it goes, these are my glasses and this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses, we'll close up the book. And then the next verse is, these are my needles and this is my yarn. I pick up my needles and start to knit my yarn. And it goes from there. All right, and then at the end, after the singing and rhymes and books, there's always some activities um, related to the theme. So one activity that I've included is called yarn painting. So in your bag, you will also find, you should find a big sheet of white paper. I'll show you kind of what to do with it. 
Well, anyway, it's a sheet that's folded like this, and inside you'll find, inside your bag, you'll also find a couple of things. I'll take up the clothespin for now. But you have yarn and you have paint. And so what I'd recommend you do is you pool the paint in little puddles on a paper plate or something, and then you immerse the yarn and then you put the yarn just in like wavy patterns inside the paper. Press down on so with something not too hard, but hard enough that they just don't slide out. And then you pull the yarn out and they make really fun pictures. So this is one that my son and I did kind of turned out like that. So and then the last thing I wanted to include. So one of the um, principles we try to emphasize in the um, seven ways um, the seven ways to reading, one of them is writing, but you're not really going to want to practice much writing with your littles. But one thing you can do is um, emphasize play that helps them develop their finger muscles. So when you have this extra paint after doing your art project, you can um, do some pom-pom painting. So you take your little paper clip or clothespin, pick up your pom-pom and then use it to paint with the rest of the paint or whatever paint you have at home. But anyway, any activity to kind of help their pinching muscles also helps them eventually to write. Um, if you ever want to do a sensory bin, like a little box full of random things, um, pom-poms are really good. You could fill it with some pom-poms and other toys and have them, you know, fill cups or something. This is just good exercise. So um, I think that is it for the February Storytime Bag. Um, I hope you enjoy it. and. And um, we look forward to having story time in person one of these days, and we'll certainly keep you posted when we can start. Thank you.